on this episode of Trey has more projects than he has time to deal with them. We're pulling axle shafts. Oh yeah. Maximum safety. If you're anything like me, you like to start another project before you finish the last one. Well, this morning on the whew, the lines, um, found a deal for some good 307 uh, hogsheads, I don't know, axles, ring and pinions, whatever you want to call them. And uh, the only deal was I got to send the guy my 390s, which are, you know, what's in the, the truck right now. So I got to get those out. And to get those out, you got to pull all the axles. So, the way you pull the axles is, you pull this cap off right here, and then you just pull the axle out. No big deal, at least on the back side. Well, how do you do that? Well, you get a BFPW, big pipe wrench, or you make your own tool, or you get a socket big enough to fit on there, and then you're just going to win a whale on it, and hopefully it comes off. So... I couldn't find a BFH, but I do have another BFPW, so we're just going to whale on it with this and the, the pipe wrench I already got on there, see if we can get her out. Let's see how that goes. About how I expected. Easier than expected. We're gonna go ahead and say that that one hit kind of loosened her a little bit. Now we just take this off. Looks like there is a seal behind that. It's toast. Oh, there you go. There's your axle. Minty. All right. Now word on the street is, the easy way to get these out is to get you a, just a standard 3 8 bolt. We're just going to want to thread that into the end of the axle here. Like so. Then you just pull on it. Holy shit, that was, <laughs> that was way too easy. Oh, wow. Can you guys tell I'm happy to see you? Then that's an LMTV, FMTV, MTV, whatever the hell you want to call this truck axle. Rock and roll. Let's do the other three. If your truck is on an angle, you know, like this or something, uh, you may want to beware that some uh, oil might drain out from the hub, uh, even though it didn't drain out on the other side. And you just want to be mindful of that so that maybe, like, you don't make a giant, you know, oil spill down here all over your grandma's yard and kill her grass. Uh, you might want to be ready instead with the drain pan. You can see here I've, uh, I've cleverly kind of, you know, propped it up so that I can catch all the oil that, that drains out of the hub. That's, uh, fucking mint right there. When you get done, you're going to have four chunks of metal that look something like this. Now, if I were you, I would go ahead and mark these with uh, the uh, position they came from. Because if you're anything like me, you probably like to have one too many adult beverages. And uh, 
you're probably going to forget where they go. Um, what you're going to want to use to mark these is going to be a king size sharpie. Um, you know, you've got to be a king to work on trucks that are like this awesome. So you got to use the right pin, otherwise it's not going to work. Anyway, um, you know, let's say you're not replacing your ring and pinion set. And, uh, you know, the differential goo gobber. Um, this is also a really useful thing to know how to do uh, when your truck breaks down, because we both know your truck's going to break down, and you're need, going to need to get it towed somewhere. Um, and because these are six-wheel drive or four-wheel drive in the case of the little baby boys, uh, you know, you got to pull the axles or somehow disconnect the wheels from the transmission to get this damn thing to roll. Well, pulling these axle shafts is the easiest way to do that. So with the four removed, they can, you know, either lift the front or I think they can even flat tow it uh, with the front wheels on the ground. I'm not sure, but I know that this is the preferred way to get these things towed. So hope that helps you out. I will uh, see you guys next time.